The Biden administration has released a new plan to deploy 200 gigawatts of nuclear energy capacity by 2050. That'd be a 200% increase over 2020 levels and provide enough electricity to power up to 170 million homes. While this initiative might line up with President-elect Trump's agenda, concerns remain over how much these projects will cost. To achieve its nuclear goals, the federal government is calling for the construction of new reactors, large and small as well as a renewal of license to extend the lives of older facilities and the restarting of ones that have been retired. However, building additional reactors can be a long and costly process. In 2023, the first new U.S. nuclear plant in decades came online, seven years past its original deadline and $17 billion over budget. Small modular reactors, or SMRs, have been built as a cheaper way to construct nuclear power infrastructure. But even these facilities can run around $3 billion for larger units. And the first government-approved plan to build one in the states was ultimately canceled due to high costs. As for restarting older reactors, there are several projects already underway. The federal government is looking to get Three Mile Island, as well as sites in Michigan and Iowa, to start producing nuclear energy again. Plans which are all expected to take years and billions of dollars to make happen. Uncertainty also remains around whether the Trump administration will work to advance these recently set nuclear objectives. Though the incoming president has stated he intends to support nuclear energy production, working to keep existing power plants open and investing in small modular reactors. To get more stories about the role nuclear power is playing in the renewable energy transition, download the Straight Arrow News app and sign up for alerts from me, Jack Almer.